Hey, what's up? It's Matt with the Online Minds. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're having a great day. Hey, I'm just relaxing today. But I want to talk about something that I think is very important, and it's about being grateful for what you have. Being grateful for what you have in this world. Even if you don't have much, you have your soul, your heart, and your mind. And if you take control of those things, you can really learn and be strong in in these days of times that we are going through we are going through massive struggles and i think it's very important that we need to look at the things we're grateful for the fam and things like family you know having even having stability having um if you're uh, recovering in re in recovery um it's that's very important is having that stability having that life having that um what you want where you feel comfortable and I really think people today are forgetting uh, the gratitude. They're forgetting what they need to be grateful for, what they what they have, what they what they've acquired through life. And people are too hard on themselves nowadays. People beat themselves up. People, you know, over little stuff, and 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 that can lead to depression, anxiety. It can lead to. Um, all sorts of different kind of even diseases meant like physical like where your body gets sick That's why meditation is so important. I w can't express it enough meditation if you can meditate at first It seems impossible. Yes, but after you get down you do it for a year or so you start meditating all the time in your brain you'll find your brain will slow down and this is the thing people too many people are in anxiety have anxiety depression or drug addiction and they don't know how to deal with it they don't know how to cope with it especially in the times that we're living in right now and i think that learning to meditate learning to be grateful and and also forgiveness forgiveness is one of the biggest things that you because when you hold resemblance when you hold hate towards someone else that you the it's only hurting yourself. It's not hurting anyone else but yourself because you're holding them resentments in. And when you learn to let go and forgive and and just live life and be happy and you know take it day to day. You know, at the end of the day, as long as you're you know you you feel good about what you're doing in life. You're doing something. You if you have family, if you don't, you know if you have pro like jobs, whatever you're doing in life. I mean, we have to be grateful for what we have because they are t trying to take us away from the roots of who we really are, and it's the great Maya Maya illusion, and that's what everyone is so everyone is so deceived nowadays and they're all about egotistical you know um, materialism things they want the best of everything and I think it's so important that we ground ourselves humble ourselves in ways that so we can grow and learn and like they say like you know when you st learn that you know nothing that's when you start learning you know in a way because you we know nothing unless we look into things and we you know try to find the answers to the puzzle this this thing that we live in this world this life that it has gotten so crazy over the last you know it's, it's i mean it's been a long time but the last eight months have been insane and people have went crazy people are stuck in a state of learned helplessness people that have been conditioned for years so they don't understand they don't understand so once you start meditating and taking control of your brain, taking control of your thoughts, observing your thoughts, and and when you can do that and you can analyze and, and you know, I mean, make your life better by having more positive thoughts every day, by not thinking negatively, um, by always looking at the positive in situations, this is what makes a person stronger this is what makes a person more great like happy in life happiness doesn't come from uh, you know anything else around you but from within inside and it's building you as a person as a character not as as someone in this life that has a purpose and every one of us has a purpose god didn't make us for nothing whatever you may believe in there is a purpose for all of us here, and we need to get back to being grateful, having gratitude, and finding that 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 grounding level, that that um, 
med what meditation will bring you meditation will bring you some something that you have never felt before and once you learn how to do it it becomes the most powerful tool in your brain so you know i really want to just talk about you know meditation being grateful that was my main topic is ha having gratitude being grateful for what you have because a lot of people have a lot less and it's unfortunate but it's the way the world works so be grateful for what you have live life every day don't don't be depressed meditate and f because once you start to meditate and you learn there's that you can cure depression anxiety all this because it's all in your head it's all in your head if you learn to use you know your intuition you'll start to learn and you'll start to understand there's way more to this life than what we see and what we ca can comprehend but we can make it it's about being grateful it's about having positive attitude about not bending changing having a steel will and always standing up for what you believe in i love you all hope you got something from this please share this spread this talk to you guys later and if you haven't already it's matt with enlightened minds hit that subscribe button down below and hey i'm much appreciated if you're still watching this hit that like button and i'll talk to you guys later love you all